Hi everyone, in this session we discuss what is operator, what is apparent, types of the operators in python and later we will see in detail explanation about arithmetic operators. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in last session. How to create set in python is empty curly braces creates set or dictionary, is set allows duplicate values, what is frozen set, when we use dictionary data types, is dictionary allows duplicate keys, when will boolean method returns false, all these were covered in the previous video, if you did not watch that please watch it and continue this video for the better understanding. After watching this video, you can get the knowledge about what is operator and operand, types of operators in python, types of arithmetic operators in python, what is the difference between float division and floor division operators, what is string concatenation, how to print a string multiple times. Let us start our discussion with what is operator. Operator is a symbol which is used to perform certain tasks or operations on values and variables. So operator is a symbol which is used to perform a particular operations or task on some values or some variables. The variable or value on which the operator is applied is called operand. So for the better understanding see this, here I am taking the expression 2 plus 3. In this 2 and 3, these 2 are called operands, 2 is one operand, 3 is another operand. This is called operator, the symbol what we are using the operation what we are implementing, to implement that operation what is the symbol we used is called an operator. Take one more example, if we write x minus y, x and y these two are called operands and the symbol minus is called operator. Now let us see the different types of the operators in python, arithmetic operators, Relational operators are comparison operators, assignment operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, special operators. In the special operators we discuss about identity operators and others. Let us start our discussion with first type of the operators in python that is arithmetic operators. The arithmetic operators are used to implement all the basic arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division etc. First one is plus. This plus symbol or operator plus is used to implement addition operation. Suppose if we take two variables a assignment to 10, b assignment 20, then a plus b value 30 that is a general thing. And next operator is minus that is used to implement subtraction operation. See if a assignment to 10, b assignment 5, a value is 10, b value is 5, a minus b becomes 5 that is 10 minus 5 becomes 5. This is simple thing. And come to this point division operator. This is also called float division operator. When we implement this, this operator returns quotient. See the example, suppose a assignment 22, b assignment 10. Then if we implement a division operator b, the result is 2.2. If you have the idea about C, CPP, Java, in that cases we will get 2 only because in the C, CPP, Java, the division operator, same division operator is used to implement integer division. But the different point in the python is 
This division is used to get the float value. Then multiplication operation. For that, we use star symbol. Take A assignment to 10, B assignment 4, then A into B, 10 into 4, that is 40. Simple it is. Next one is modulus operator or reminder operator. For this, we use percentage symbol. So, as the name suggests reminder, you will get the reminder as an answer when you implement this operator. See the example, A assignment 20, B assignment 10. If you write A, modulus division or modulus operator or remind operator B, then you will get 20 modulus 10, 10 2 times 20. So, reminder is 0. So, you will get the answer 0. Then next one is, so in the C or CPP, this operator is not available. 2 times we need to write star symbol. The meaning of these two stars is exponent operator or you can call it as power operator. See the example, suppose if we write A assignment to 2, B assignment to 3, then if you write A power B, nothing but 2 power 3 you will get. 2 power 3 means 8. So, the answer becomes 8. Then last one is floor division. This operator is not available in C, C, P, P. When you implement this floor division operator, you will get floor value of quotient. See this example for the better understanding. If A assignment 22, B assignment 10, then if you write A double forward slash, nothing but A floor division B gives 2. Actually, if you write A division operator, that is floor division operator, you will get 2.2. But when you applying this floor division, you will get the floor value of 2.2. Nothing but the value is 2. You will get the answer 2, not 2.2. Then let us try to implement arithmetic operators. See, this is a very basic program. Here I am trying to implement all arithmetic operators. X assignment 15. X is a variable, I am storing the value 15 in that. Y assignment 4, Y is a variable, storing the value 4. Now, first I want to implement addition operator, that is plus. So, I want to print the value of X plus Y. X plus Y is equal to, so that is a string value, that is just like a heading. So, you need to write that within the single quote or double quotes to our valid, because this is a string constant. Already we discussed in the strings concept how to create a string. Along with this, if you want to print the value of x plus y, you need to write comma and write an expression. Expression is the combination of operators and operands. In this case, I want to print the result as x plus y is equal to that value. Then that value will be printed in place of x plus y. Observe here. For the x plus y, we should not write the double quotes or single quotes because it is not a string value. This will be evaluated at runtime. For that, you should not write the double quotes. Now, coming to here, I want to print the subtraction value also. x minus y is equal to, then x minus y value will be evaluated, then printed. In the same way, multiplication value x into y is equal to, then the value of x into y will be printed. And division operator, x division y is equal to, then x division y will be evaluated, that will be printed. And next one is floor division operator, x floor division y is equal to, then value will be evaluated and printed as usual. And power operator or exponential operator, x exponential operator y value is, and that value will be printed after that. Now try to execute this. Now, observe the output, x plus y value is 19 because x is 15, y is 4 and x minus y, 15 minus 4, that is 11. So, we are getting 11 and 15 4 times 60 and 15 division y, 3.75. So, here we are getting a float value because this is float division operator and floor division operator. So, floor value of 3.75 is 3, that is the reason we are getting the value 3 only when we implement floor division operator. And next, 
exponential or power operator x power y 15 power 4 the value is this one now see float division operator or simply division operator always performs floating point arithmetic it always returns the float value as a result we have seen in the previous example also and coming to the floor division it can perform both floating point and integral arithmetic this is very important point if two values are integer type then the result will be integer type in second case if at least one of those two values is float type then the result will be float type and this is the major difference between float division operator and floor division operator in python try to understand this i am using two integer values observe this print division with two integer values my values are 10 division 2 and second case i am using one float value in first case first value is float and second value is integer in the second case first value is integer second value is float value and try to execute this even though we have two integer values we are getting float value because this is float division operator always we are getting float value and see you may have the float value you will get the float value as the answer coming to the floor division operator see this division with two integers i am using two integer values this is case one and is coming to the case two i am using one integer value and one float value in one case i am using float value as a numerator in another case i am using float value in place of denominator then execute this now observe whenever we have two values are integer values with floor division we are getting integer value as we discussed just now and if any one of the two values is float we are getting float value as a result now some more important points regarding to these two operators plus and star operators these two operators plus and star we can implement along with the string data type also whenever we are working with plus operator along with strings in this case the same operator should be called concatenation operator remember when you are working with string data types and if you use plus symbol in such cases the same plus symbol should be called as string concatenation operator when we use string concatenation operator in that case the two values must be string type otherwise you will get an error i want to implement plus as a string concatenation operator so example one python is a string constant because we are writing double quotes here again i am writing three try to understand here even though i am writing three i am writing that three within the double quotes in this case three is not a numerical value three is not a integer value that should be treated as string value so in this case python and three these two values are string types so there is no problem in this case those two will be concatenated the output will be python 3 next example python this is a string type you can observe double quotes here string concatenation 3 this 3 is a integer value so in this case it will raise an error because the rule is whenever you are using string concatenation operator two values must be string type see one more example python this is a string constant string concatenation operator 3.5 this is float value in this case also it will raise an error next if we use star operator with string type then one value should be int type and other value should be string type this is the rule in this case the star operator is called as string multiplication operator or repetition operator see this example three string repetition operator and one string constant value the meaning is the string python will be printed three times so now the output will be python 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 three times the rule is one value should be int type another value should be string type whenever we are using the star operator 
with string data types. See second example, three where three is string type. You can observe double quotes. Repetition operator, one more string Python. In this case, two are strings. So it will raise an error. See third example, 3.5, one float value and repetition operator, one string value. In this case also, it will raise an error. Now see the implementation. So as we discussed, I am using place as a string concatenation operator here. So what I want to print, print python plus 3, here 3 is string constant, observe here. Then run it. Now you can observe python 3, the value 3 is concatenated to python. Then we are implementing the same concatenation operator, but in this case one value is string type, one value is other than string, that is int type in this case. Just run it, then you will get an error. So observe this, can only concatenate string to string, nothing but you must use two string values. In this case we are using int, so you can understand here not int. So whenever you have two string values, then only it is possible to implement concatenation. Now next one is repetition operator. See one value is integer 3 and repetition operator one string value. Execute it. So that string python will be printed three times. Second case, same thing, but I am using two string values. Run it. So you will get an error. Now check what have you learnt from this video. Pause the video and try to give the answer for these questions. If you are not able to give the answer for these questions, try to watch the video again and give the answers for these. What is operator? What is operand? Types of operators in Python. What is the difference between float division operator? and floor division operator, what is string concatenation, how to print a string multiple times. If this video is useful to you, please subscribe the channel, watch and share it. Thank you.